Libraland 1010, hello, welcome everyone. As I was shuffling the Hoodoo Tarot and getting ready to put the deck away, I just went live. Thank you everyone who joined me. Um, the Ace of Knives has a message for Libra. And I said, okay, what do we need to know about this Ace of Knives? About this fight? about what your guides are fighting for you, okay? Libra, it has to do with the seven of knives. It has to do about something that's a poisoning, okay? Many of you were poisoned by something you consumed in a past life okay and for whatever reason this karmic energy has come back around and they can't touch you in the physical life this time around so they've been throwing they've been doing things in the dark to try to intercept to try to affect your energy and then my next question or spirit was what can we do about this seven of knives what can Libra do what should we do we got the eight of sticks Libra this card shows the magic okay that's been thrown at us spirit caught it spirit was our buffer truly but this card speaks about protection so whatever protection, whatever you do for protection, you retreat and you focus more on self-care and self-love, or you light protection candles, you perform candle magic as a form of protection, the wands, the sticks, this is about fire, fighting fire with fire, I just heard. Libra, that's what you can do about what's been done in the dark against you. And it's working if you've been doing this. And you have, once again, your angels and guides and ancestors, your whole spirit team as a buffer. They're catching all this magic. It's like the Matrix dodge. You're like Neo, Libra. You're like Neo, dipping and dodging the dark arts, the dark magic, <laughs> really. And spirits assisting in this. A lot of it has to do with the incoming love of your life. Two of baskets, Libra, the next card out. And because this connection is meant to bring in and start a third generation with the three of baskets at the bottom of the deck. Two of baskets creating a third basket, Libra. A third generation. Wow, I can't make it up with the four of sticks behind that at the bottom of the deck. Speaking of union, a baby, a marriage, Is there anything else Libra needs to do or focus on at this time? This is just a quick message, a quick little extended message for Libra, December 2021, in regards to this spiritual warfare. Woo, Libra! <laughs> Your ancestors want you to have some fun. They're going to be bringing you in this good luck for the month of December. This shows an ancestor rubbing a lucky $2 bill on their palm, and I'm being prompted to go ahead and read about this card. Libra, this is the Six of Coins, the Six of Pentacles. A woman with an itchy left palm holds a lucky $2 bill. 
It is believed that an itchy palm is a predictor of financial gain in the near future. Which palm depicts which varies from family to family and region to region? This is about charitable giving, generosity, debt repayment, grants, scholarships, philanthropy, financial aid, fairness, receiving money owed, earning extra money, equality, mentoring, helping others, and those who care about the community. Spreading the blessings, Libra. It, you're just such a lucky Libra this season and, and forevermore, honestly, forevermore. After everything you've been through, the people that tried to throw knives at you, poisoned you in your past life, all this spiritual warfare. You and your spirit crew won though, Libra. Winning. You're, yeah, I just heard the winning team. Thank you, spirit. Winning team, Libra. Welcome. Welcome to Libra land. If you're new here as well, my name is Ashley. I'm a fellow Libra son with Libra other areas of my chart. Stay balanced, stay blessed. Give this reading a big thumbs up. I appreciate you until next time. Wow, my phone is blowing up. Can't stop, won't stop, Libra, the winning team. Peace.